Hey, this is Dan again with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and we're coming to you from Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Today what we're going to do is we're going to take an existing pond that has a pressurized filter that stopped working on us, and we're going to add a little bit different filtration with a twist. So let's go over the, to the project and we'll show you what's going on. A lot of chipmunks in this area. Um, what we're doing is going to be temporary because this entire area is going to be blown out and we're going to do another water feature at a later date. But temporarily um, the homeowner would love to have this pond up and running again. But because of the expense, uh, we're going to abandon the stream. I know, abandon the stream. What's a pond without a waterfall? But over here what we're going to do is we're going to set up our spillway bowl we're going to convert that spillway bowl into um, a small mini biofalls. So we're going to have a panel across the top. We're going to have gravel in it. We're going to put aquatic plants to suck up the extra nutrients in this pond. And it's going to clean it up or keep it clean for the entire season. So again, it's just going to be a temporary thing for this season. And then uh, next season, uh, she, her landscapers are going to come in and blow all this whole area out. Maybe get a little bit of lawn, but she wants to do a Japanese theme, maybe with some bridges, um, get the element of red in here, but just really do up a nice Japanese theme throughout this whole back, whole front yard uh, planting area. So um, we're going to get to work, and I'll show you some video on how we're setting things up along the way. All right, so what we've done is we've uh, cleaned out the pond and we've uh, set up our spillway bowl. We turn the camera around to show you uh, just what we got going on. So we're filling up the pond now. The pond's all clear. Um, we've got our spillway bowl here and we've turned it into a filtration bowl, like a mini biofalls. So let me go over here, I'll show you what I got going on. So this bowl is not 100% filled up with gravel. We've got the water coming in from the bottom, just like a biofalls, right in through here. Let's see if I can get down enough. We've got a panel in here. It's uh, called flow cell mat uh, material. We use it for a couple different applications. Um, I won't get into that now, but um, this is what it is. So we've got panels of flow cell material here. It's very strong so this is very strong material this is called flow cell it's about at one inch thick and it allows water to go through it but so what would happen if we didn't have that separation there the flow cell and we just used gravel muck would be all in through the gravel make it almost impossible to clean so it's got that little separation between the bottom of the bowl where that water can do its swirling action the sediment the muck that's in a pond gets um, trapped underneath the gravel and just stays right there and it'll stay there all season but the, uh, the bacteria that's added to a pond uh, it's little microorganisms that'll feed off that muck because uh, beneficial bacteria is like a living enzyme in a pond 
so it multiplies divides and dies all in a four to six week period when it does that it's consuming so much muck in a pond people that add algicides to a pond they contribute to the muck load when the muck or when algicides kill off the uh, the algae it doesn't go anywhere it's still in your pond and now it starts rotting and it turns into more muck the algae itself the dead algae itself is feeding the next round of algae to come so um, the, by adding beneficial bacteria and being patient what that does is it um, gives you crystal clear water you you really shouldn't need much more than just beneficial bacteria some plants um, and fish in your in, in the equation for having a healthy ecosystem pond so I'll turn the camera around again and so I've got the layer of gravel. I'm going to put some Creeping Jenny, some reed rush in here. I've got a little bit of moss I'm going to do at the edge. We've got some uh, iris that will grow really well in there. And then she can add things like um, maybe some cannas or maybe uh, you know a tropical canna or tropical elephant ears and just have some fun with it. Maybe even some impatience right along the edge. Um, probably wondering what this pipe is here for so instead it you know come springtime this is going to need to be cleaned out there's going to be muck at the bottom but how do we get to it without taking it all apart so we put a vacuum from our our uh, shop vac right down in here suck right from the bottom and boom we got it cleaned out so let me get back to work get this thing up and running and get it planted up we'll show you the end result all right, so let's show you what we got done today. So the spillway bowl is in. Uh, we've added some plants that were growing around the existing water feature. And um, what do you think? How do you think it came out? I know the lighting's not all that great, um, but the existing waterfall here, what we did is the homeowner had found out back some Mexican pebbles, so we added those to the stream just to kind of give it a dry creek bed look doesn't look bad um, I know it's not up and running but you know what um, it's only gonna be here for another year and then we're gonna go on to bigger and better things so if you would leave us comments below let us know what you think thanks for watching if you haven't done so already subscribe to our channel for our next projects coming along Thanks a lot, and we hope you have a great day.